I'm Knight Kiplinger, and welcome to the Seneca Schoolhouse in Seneca, Maryland. Today, this is a place where students travel back in time to experience a typical school day in the rural 1880s, bringing history alive. The Seneca Mills School opened in 1866 after some local folks led by mill owner Upton Darby banded together to build and operate a school for their children. The parents worked at nearby farms or mills or at the sandstone quarry or in barges along the CNO Canal. This one-room schoolhouse is made of red sandstone from the nearby Seneca Quarry. The families hired an unmarried woman to be the teacher. The building was and still is heated by a potbelly wood stove. For 45 years, children were educated here, arriving on foot, horseback, and in carriages. These were segregated times. This school was open only to white children. Black families opened similar schools for their students. After the school closed in 1910, the building housed tenant farmers for nearly a half century. Dilapidated, but structurally sound, the old stone schoolhouse was restored by Historic Medley District in the late 1970s. It reopened in 1981. Today, the Seneca Schoolhouse is a popular venue for elementary school field trips, homeschoolers, scout meetings, and birthday parties. A costumed teacher leads an authentic 19th century school day and students come dressed like kids from the 1880s. They quickly discover that school was different back then. Boys and girls sit on opposite sides of the room. They curtsy and bow to their teacher. They write on slates with soapstone, read from McGuffey's Reader, and compete in spelling bees. There are chores to do. The boys fetch wood for the stove. The girls clean the blackboard. At recess, they play old-fashioned games, relay races, baseball with walnuts, and rolling a hoop. A visit to the Seneca Schoolhouse offers everyone a chance to unplug from the 21st century and imagine life in an earlier time. For more information about the Seneca Schoolhouse or to book an outing, visit our website, 